Okay, what I'm going to show you today is my all-in-one suspension system. Uh, when you open the package, what you'll see is two of these. Uh, this has got your straps, your slings, and a loop and a ring for attachment to your hammock. I call it the all-in-one because everything is connected. Uh, you're going to have your straps, which can be six, eight, or ten foot, or however long you want, at the strap and the sling connection. Uh, the sling connects with the fixed eye on the strap using a rope thimble. Uh, then you have here the adjustable berry and then the adjustable loop which is connected to a continuous loop using an aluminum ring. Uh, the ring will act as a drip loop. Uh, some people just like to use a piece of cotton, some kind of natural fiber. And then this loop right here is what will connect to your hammock and I'm going to show you that right now. Alright, I've got my Warbonnet Blackbird. I'm going to show you how to attach it to a gathered in hammock on a channel. Hammock is the same way, like an Eno or a Clark. Uh, you'll just run the loop through the channel once, uh, maybe twice before you finish it off. Uh, so we'll start with uh, one wrap. Uh, some people just do one. I like to do another one. And then run the rest of the suspension through that loop. Pull it tight. And then here's the ridge line, the built-in ridge line for the blackbird. We just take it and run it all through that. And that's it. When you set your hammock up, the ridge line will pull tight. And, you'll be all done. and here it is all staked out. Uh, we're going to run in and get some close-ups of the suspension right now. Ignore my webbing suspension. The distance between my poles is kind of short. Uh, this kind of goes against the normal hookup for a whoopee sling on a hammock in that the whoopee sling is actually turned around. Normally the fixed eye gets attached to the hammock, but in order to use the rope thimble on the straps, I had to flip it around. So your whoopee sling adjustment is actually going to be away from your hammock as opposed to right at the hammock normally. Uh, you can see the ring. The connection at the hammock, and you can see the gray ridge line there. Everything's hooked up. You see, it gives you enough room to leave the bag, the stuff sack connected. And you can see you've still got plenty of room to attach a loop for underquilt attachment, or if you want to hang something off of it, you can use a ring as, an, as a hanging point to hang gear, boots, uh, whatever. And it's all done. Uh, you can use Dutch clips or beaners or a toggle, uh, pretty much whatever you want to use at your webbing around your anchor point. Uh, I just went for simplicity right now for demonstration purposes. And that's it.